All right, so next topic is uh, all about uh, variable costing or also known as direct costing. And the uh, next one is all about absorption or also known as uh, uh, full costing. Now, so kanina, variable or direct, variable or full costing. Sige. So let me share my screen. Okay. So again, I will use my Jamboard no, for this. All right. So next one. It's all about absorption costing. So, ano bang ibig sabihin class ng tinatawag natin? Absorption or variable costing. Okay. So, absorption costing. So, very important here to understand. No? So, ano bang ibig sabihin ng absorption? Absorption costing. Alright. Versus your variable costing. Okay. Plus, pag sinabing absorption costing, it is also known as full costing. So, ibig sabihin, lahat ng cost ay part ng ating product cost. Okay. Pag sinabi naman variable costing, it is also known as direct costing. Okay? It is also known as direct costing. What else? When you say about absorption costing, it is your traditional, no? traditional, income statement it is merely more on a functional format okay it is more on a functional format okay pag sinabi class sa uh, variable costing it is known as your contribution margin format okay it is your contribution margin format it is more on functional yes functional and also behavioral okay why why behavioral no because of the cm format we're in you have your variable cost and you have your fixed cost okay in diba in terms of this traditional costing and formula sales minus cost of sales we have our gross profit we have our fixed cost and we have our net income okay diba ganyan class yung formula natin Okay. How about in the contribution margin? Okay. A format which is your variable costing. You have your sales minus your variable cost. We have our CM. We have our fixed cost. And we have our net income. Ito naman class is more on behavioral. Ibig sabihin, because of your variable and fixed cost, depende yan kung it will change regardless of the activity level. Okay. Pero class, in the board exam, saan ba umiikot ang question no? in the absorption and the variable costing? Umiikot ang question niya in terms of your product cost. Ano ibig sabihin? Sorry. Yes, product cost versus period cost. Pero hindi yan ang pinaka main uh, uh, difference. No? The main difference here is the treatment of the fix overhead okay the treatment of the fixed overhead why in the fixed overhead no it, under absorption costing it is a part of product cost in terms of the variable costing ito naman daw ay tinatawag natin period cost okay my question ano ba ang ibig sabihin ng product cost and Period cost. The ba class? Pag sinabing product cost, it is also known as inventoriable cost. Ibig sabihin, if we are talking here of absorption costing, the fixed overhead is uh, included as part of your inventory cost. Ibig sabihin, it is part of your asset. Okay, asset mo na siya. Pag naibenta mo na class, magiging isang cost of goods sold. Expense na. Okay. How about in terms of your variable costing? Pag yan naman ay period cost, ito ay expense outright. Ibig sabihin, ang kaibahan nila is uh, the treatment of your fixed overhead. Wherein, in the absorption costing, it is considered as product cost. In the variable costing, it is considered as the period cost. Okay. So class, 
ibig sabihin, no? as part of the variable in absorption costing, the difference here is basically because of your fixed overhead. No? So, sige. I will give you example. Halimbawa, your sales. Uh, for example, uh, sales is at uh, 10 pesos, for example, or 100 pesos. Then we have our DM. For example, your DM is at 20. DL, direct labor, sorry, you have 10 variable overhead, for example, at uh, 10. Tapos yung ating fixed overhead. Uh, in the fixed overhead, yan ay total. Sabihin natin, our 10,000. Okay, and also our uh, uh, variable selling and admin expenses, let's say at 5 pesos and fixed as GNA. Since fixed to, sabi natin yan ay at 5,000. Okay, halimbawa class, you're sold and also we have our produce. Okay, halimbawa sold is worth 10,000. Okay, and let's say 15,000 naman is our unit produce. Okay, halimbawa, yan na. Okay, what we will do now is to compute first, no? Okay, kung ganito class ang given, okay, we need to know first, no, what would be your product cost. Okay, in the absorption costing and in the variable costing, Ano ba class dyan ang product cost natin? Yung direct materials ba kasama? Yes, 20 and 20. Okay. How about your direct labor? Kasama rin ba? Yes, 10 pesos and 10 pesos. As product cost, ha? Okay. In terms of your variable overhead, kasama pa ba? Yes, 10 and 10. How about your fixed overhead? Okay. But before that, magkano muna ang fixed overhead? What we will do here is we divide our 10,000 divided by 15,000. Okay? So, uh, let's say ito class ay 100,000. Ah. Ano ba wala nga? <laughs> Kasi mukhang kukulangan tayo. 100,000 divided by 15,000. Oh. In class, ang, ang ating fixed overhead. Magkano yan? So, 100,000 divided by 15. Naku, may butal. Okay lang yan. Sige. Uh, let's say walang butal ha. Uh, para, para mabilis tayo. Again, uh, this is... Uh, sorry. Ito ay 100,000. Sige. Gusto ko walang butal. Ito rin. Buray natin to. Okay. Magkano nga yung fix natin? Okay. Fix overhead. Sabihin natin ay... 120,000. Okay? Oh, let's say ito ay 120. Ito naman, uh, we'll revise ha, para mabilis, para you can be able to understand, no? Let's say the sold is, uh, okay, let's say this is at 12,000. Para mabilis tayo, ha? This one is, uh, tama na pala, dapat 10. Okay. Magkano class yung ating fixed overhead? Okay. Please take note that in computing for your fixed overhead, it should be 120,000 divided by 12,000. Sir, ba't yun? Bakit not, not that sold? No? So, but by the way, baka 120 divided by 12. Of course, you have here also 10 pesos. Okay. My question. Sir, bakit po we divide it by unit produced but, but not unit sold? We go back to our... Uh, we go back to uh, ano, to definitions of, sorry, the condition in terms of the fixed overhead. Diba? The fixed overhead is not dependent on your, uh, not dependent sa ating tinatawag na uh, sold. No? Why? Regardless of the activity, fixed overhead will remain the same. That's why, uh, wala akong pakialam in terms of the unit sold. That's why it is to be divided by unit produce. Okay? In terms of the absorption costing, kasama ba siya? Yes. How about the variable costing? Zero. Hindi kasama yan. Okay. How about, okay, please take note ha. In terms of the fixed 
and variable selling and general and admin expense, kahit may yan, absorption or variable costing man yan, it is expense outright. No, they are expense outright. Ibig sabihin, ito lang class ang ating parada cost. 2, 3, 4, 5, you have 50, and this one is 40. Ibig sabihin, the difference is only 10. Ano yung 10? That's your fixed overhead cost. Ibig sabihin, uh, the difference between the two is because of uh, the fixed overhead. Yes. Okay. That's why class, no? That's why uh, to compute, no? Ito class, ha? Since you, you are taking the board exam, very important to know uh, the shortcut method. But don't worry. We will do naman long cut later, no? Ano yung shortcut? The shortcut here is that to compute for the net income, no? Difference in net income. Okay. The difference in net income. What do you mean of this? It, meaning class, it is known as your reconciliation. Okay. So in terms of the difference in net income, ano yung formula? Please take note of this. You have here, your ending inventory to be multiplied by your fixed overhead rate. Okay. Sir, but ganon, but but ganon yung difference in net income or the reconciliation ending inventory times fixed overhead rate. Because nga, ang difference ng dalawa is because of your fixed overhead. How do you compute for the ending inventory? Unit produced minus unit sold to be multiplied by your fixed overhead. Okay. Paano mo malalaman, class, that uh, mas malaki dapat ang net income ng variable in absorption? Please take note of this. Okay. In terms of your uh, net income, okay, and also the unit produced and unit sold, okay, uh, unit produced, unit sold, class, in terms of your net income, no, sabi nila, pag ang unit produced mo daw ay equal to your unit sold, the net income of the absorption costing is equal to your uh to your ano uh, actual uh, sorry actual uh, sorry absolute uh, 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 sorry malito but as kasi absorption costing and nandito na ako you have absorption costing is equals to your variable costing okay pero class kung ang absorption uh, kung ang unit produce is more than your unit sold, absorption costing, net income is uh, more than your variable costing. Mas malaki ang absorption costing mo sa variable costing. Pero pa ang unit produce mo ay mas maliit sa unit sold, absorption costing, net income is uh, less than with your variable costing. I will prove na tama yan, class. Okay. Di ba kanina, Di ba kanina, magkano yung ating uh, ending? So, okay, di ba? 10 minus 12. Tapos, you have 10. Okay? Uh, meaning to say, ending inventory, 12,000 as your uh, produce minus sold of 10. So, you have 2,000 to be multiplied by, magkano yung fixed overhead kanina? You have 10. Ibig sabihin, 2,000 times 10. The difference here is worth 20,000. I will prove that the difference here is worth 20,000. I will prove that tama yung class. No? We will compute for the long cut. <laughs> Kasi di pala, mali pala. No? Di, tama yung class. Sige, we go now to this. Alright. Magkano class yung ating sales kanina? If you remember, sales is equals to, I think, 100 to. Okay? To be multiplied by, makan ng unit sold? 10,000 yun, di ba? So, you have here, 1 million. Okay? So, you have here, 1 million. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Tama. You have here, 1 million. How about your variable cost? Ah, sorry. This is pala, ano muna. We, we compute first for, we compute first for our absorption costing. Okay? We compute first for our Absorption costing net income. So you have here your cost of goods sold. 
class, magkano nga class ang costing natin in the absorption costing? Uh, balikan natin class, ha? Balikan natin. Diba ito lang yan? 50 and 40. Ibig sabihin, we will use 50. Okay? So, at at 50 pesos to be multiplied by 10,000. Okay? So, this one, you have 500,000. Okay. Magkano class yung ating gross profit? You have 500,000. This one, peso. And this one is peso. Okay. How about your variable uh, fixed cost pala? Sorry. A class in fixed cost. And also we have, sorry, fixed cost here if uh, FSGA and FSGA. Okay. Magkano yung class? If I remember right. No, hindi ko memorize. Uh, 5,000 and you have 5. 5,000 and you have 5. Okay. So, meaning to say you have here 5,000 total and we have 5 to be multiplied by uh, 10,000. Ibig sabihin, you have here uh, no, parang tama. 50,000, di ba? Okay. You have here 50,000. Uh, magkano class yung ating net income? Okay. 50 minus 55, you have 445. Tama ba ako? Makapit natin para may mali. So, uh, 500 minus 5 minus 50. Tama, you have 445. Ito nga daw, basi ko lang baka mali yung ano ko. Okay. Ibig sabihin, in the absorption costing net income is worth 445. Di ba class kanina, sabi ko ang difference niya ay 20. Plus, unit sold is 12. Ah, sorry, unit produced is 12, unit sold is 10. Ibig sabihin, mas malaki yung absorption costing net income with the variable cost. So, ibig sabihin, na-compute natin yung ating net income under absorption costing. Napakadali, eh, di ba? Okay. The conciliation is that you have 12,000 minus 10,000 to be multiplied by what? 10. So, ibig sabihin, you have 2,000 times 10. You have the difference of 20,000. Okay? So, I will prove na tama ang difference. So, ibig sabihin, in the variable costing without computation, ang answer dito class ay 425. Okay. Paano, bakit 425? Just minus this one. Okay. I will prove na tama. No? Of course, your sales... It's worth 1 million. Oh, same competition. How about your variable cost? Okay. So in terms of your variable cost, pabalikan natin ito class. I think sa, sa 10 lang yung difference. No? 40. Ito yan, no? 40. Okay. Ay, sorry. Mali. You have here your 40. Ay, sorry. 40. So 40 to be multiplied by 10. So, you have here, 400,000. Magkala yung CM natin, you have 600,000. Okay. Magkano class yung fixed cost natin? Okay. I think I remember the fixed cost here is 120. And your fixed SGNAI at uh, FXF 5,000. Uh, tama ba class na 425? Sana tama. 600 minus 120. Minus 5. Nako, mali. Okay. Mali ba ako? Okay. Balikan natin, class. No? So, this one. Baka may mali ako. 40. Tama naman. Ah! Alam ko na. Oh, ito, class. Nakamali ako, ha? <laughs> nakamali ako. Alam ko na ako nakamali. Okay. Please take note of this. No? Meron tayong nakalimutan. Tama, tama itong 120. Okay? O, oh, class. Kahit ako nakamali din. Please take note of this. No? When you compute for the variable cause... Hindi lang tayo more on our variable cost overhead. No? We have also here ito. No? We forgot this one. Okay? Ibig sabihin, we have our 5,000 or 5 pesos. Sige, i-aral natin kasi. Uh, mas maganda, ayusin natin. Okay? In the variable cost, kasama dito yung parehas, which is your variable overhead. Kaning overhead. Uh, ito na, uh, you have here 40 to be multiplied by 10, okay? So, you have here 
400,000. What else? You have also here our SGNA of the variable, which is 5 times 10K. So, ibig sabihin, you have here 50,000. Okay? So, 1 million, 1.4 minus 50 minus 120 minus 5. Sorry, mali. 1 million minus 400 minus 50. Ito ay magiging 550. Uh, 550 minus 120 minus 5. Tama ba na 425? The answer is yes. So, that's the shortcut. Okay? That's the shortcut. But please take note of this. When you compute for the CM, kasama dito yung variable cost, overhead, and the variable selling, general, and admin expense. Makamali pa ako kanina, no? Pero at least, uh, uh, yun, yun dapat yung recons, uh, reconsider items, no? So, without computing for the long cut, no? Alam mo class that the formula to compute Sorry, uh, the difference is worth 20,000. No? Gagawin mo lang, pupunta ka lang. Uh, just dito, no? pupunta ka lang dito para to check. No? Uh, sorry, ano ba to? To check lang, no? so particularly. Ito yan, di ba? Yan. If the absorption costing is more than the VC, sigurado mas malaki dapat ang net income mo ng variable costing. Bada, ito pala ay variable costing. Okay. Okay, Baklas. So, hopefully, you've learned about this one, uh, about the variable and absorption cost. If you have a question, no, just message me. And don't worry, I will reply. No? So, again, thank you and see you all. Bye-bye.